Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. I know it's been a few days since I posted a video and this is going to be a very quick video because my battery's going to die. But anyway, um, I just did my hair, freshly washed and uh, conditioned and everything day before yesterday. Um, the shea butter mixture that I made several months ago was just starting to go rancid. It, it'll last a good six months or so if you uh, keep it uh, well preserved. However, the temperature here changed. It got very, very hot and I'm in an RV and so it started to uh, go rancid and I didn't realize it was doing that until I was using it on my hair and then within a day or two, sometimes a couple of hours, my scalp would just really start itching and I was like, what is going on? So I figured, okay, you know, so let me just get rid of that. So I made another batch. So I want to tell you what I put in this and also give you some tips about coconut oil. The first thing is the first batch that I had, it had shea butter. Um, I used this brand. Oh, got some on my hand here. This is African Shea by Pure Naturals. Um, I got this in the States. And um, now I've got some on my hands here, so I'll just put it in my hair. <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> I took a tub of this. I had two. This is my second one. I took a tub of this um, and I put it in a, in a mixing bowl with some olive oil. This is my first batch that I made with olive oil, coconut oil, uh, cinnamon oil, and um, um, I can't remember what the other one was. Anyway, oh, shea butter, olive oil, coconut oil, and cinnamon. That's all that was in that one. But I was having problems with dryness, and I didn't know why. Oh, and I put some uh, uh, Jamaican black castor oil in it. Well, two things I noticed that I it just occurred to me. One was the Jamaican black castor oil that I was using had tea tree in it. Tea tree is a drying agent. It will dry your hair. So unless you're using it just on your scalp because you have itchy scalp or something like that, any of the mints, peppermint, spearmint, tea tree, anything like that will dry your hair. Right. It's, it's OK to use it on your scalp, but it will dry your hair. So I didn't realize that. Secondly, coconut oil is one of the few oils that will bond to your hair. So if you're having problems with moisture, you want to limit your use of coconut oil. It does strengthen the hair, but you don't want to use it all the time because oil and water don't mix. So if you run into if you're midway through washings and you have a hard time with dryness, It'll be hard to get moisture into your hair because the coconut oil will adhere to the bond deep in your hair to, to help it not to break, but you can't get moisture in until you get it all washed out. So what I decided to do this time, um, I used my second tub of this. And I took uh, that whole tub of that shea butter. I mixed it with extra virgin olive oil. First cold pressed. I use 100% pure castor oil by uh, Mol Molivera Organics. I use some argan oil. I use cinnamon uh, for fragrance. And vitamin E from Trader Joe's uh for a preservative and i mixed it all together in my mixing bowl with my my little mixer paddle things and it gave me this it's very creamy um it's whipped it's very creamy very smooth uh doesn't feel quite as heavy as the other and my hair feels a little bit more pliable now still I have either low or high porosity hair somewhere in between. So it's just hard to get moisture into my hair. But it should be easier because I didn't put any coconut oil in this. And so it should it should be okay, right? I should be able to retain moisture a lot longer. So I just wanted to give you those tips. That's what I put in here. If you have any uh, comments, oh, and I had some extra left over. So I ended up putting it back in this and also because it'll be, you know, a few washings before I get to this jar. What I'm doing is I am keeping it out of the light. So I have the jar covered in aluminum foil. 
and uh, yeah, covered in aluminum foil. And I just put a band on it. I'll show you here in a second. I'm in this little tiny RV bathroom, so it's kind of hard to maneuver. Okay. So I just put a band around it, right, just to keep the light out. Keep as much light out of it, and I have it in a dark cupboard. Okay? So you want to be careful of the temperatures and stuff when you're using these organic products because most of them... As far as I know, all of them you can eat. They're consumable, so they're really food, right? And so you have to be careful how you um, how you store it so that it doesn't go rancid on you. All right? Anyway, so I hope you're having a good day. I just wanted to give you that quick video and tell you make sure that you check your products when you're making them so that you're not uh, putting things in your hair that have bacteria in it that can cause you to have a scalp infection or something like that. And I think that was all I wanted to tell you today. Thanks for stopping by. Please uh, subscribe and uh, share this information with your friends. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave your comments in the comment box below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. And also, and I'll answer any questions that you have. Okay? So have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Take care of that silver crown.